Hello, my name is Becca and I'm the lead photographer here at London Lash Pro. So, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You actually don't need all this fancy equipment to take nice lash photos. All you need is your camera phone. Having professional looking pictures is so important when it comes to Instagram. It's your chance to post your amazing lash pictures and Instagram is the perfect place for free advertisement. So don't blow it by posting sloppy imagery. Step one, let's talk about what you actually need. It is a myth that you need all the best and most expensive equipment. You just need the essentials, which are firstly, your camera phone. Everyone's got one, and who'd have thought that one of the biggest money-making tools is right in the palm of your hand? Also, you need your macro lens for your phone. If you don't know what this is, it's basically so you can get really close-up detail of your client's lashes without blurring the picture. And most importantly, you need good lighting. So you can either invest in a simple ring light off Amazon or eBay, or what we like to use here at London Lash is a glam core. Good lighting is everything. I can't stress this enough. As long as you've set the stage perfectly with your nice lighting, that's half the work done. Having a really good lighting setup is going to save you so much time in the retouching process. Step two, it's time to set the stage. First things first, please remember to wipe your phone lens before taking any photos. There's nothing worse than greasy finger marks over the lens. For one, it's going to make your pictures look really blurry. And two, it just looks so unprofessional. Let me just quickly demonstrate what I mean. So, if you just get a dry piece of tissue, then just give it a quick wipe, and it's as simple as that. Now it's time to set up your lighting. So the aim here is to make sure there's no unflattering shadows on the face, and you want to make sure you're highlighting every bit of detail in the beautiful work you've just created. Step 3. Using your macro lens. So you don't actually have to use this for every single lash photo but it's perfect when you want to get those close-up detail shots. Step four, it's all about the angles. You really need to make sure that you're capturing your client's eye at the best angle. This can affect the entire photo. Taking the photo from the right angle creates the illusion of depth and it also makes your pictures look more professional. Step five, it's all in the details. So, if you've taken a photo that you're really happy with, but you notice there's an eyebrow hair out of place or the lashes aren't brushed, just retake it. It's all in those small details. I understand that you might feel uncomfortable asking your client to retake the photo, but it's better in the long run. If your clients look nice in your photos, there's more chance that they'll repost them. Basically, if they look good, you look good. So now we've got the steps down, let's go and do a quick demonstration. So here, you want to set up your light directly in front of your client's face, and then go ahead and turn the lights up so they're nice and bright. If you are using a glam core, you'll notice that you can move the light heads so you've got more control over the lighting. If you notice your client starting to slouch, just tell them to sit up straight and put their shoulders back. And also, remember to tell your client to look straight ahead and not into the camera, so that the pupil is always in the middle of the eye. Making sure that you're capturing the eye at the right angle is so important. Of course, you can have a play around and see what works best. I would suggest taking your time in finding the best angle. Like I mentioned earlier, if your lash photos look good, then there's more chance of your client reposting them, which means more free advertisement for yourself, and also your client gets to share the nice new lashes with all the friends on Instagram. So here, you may have thought you've taken the perfect photo, but then you've noticed an eyebrow hair that's out of place, or the lashes look messy. This is your chance to fix them. And from there, you can continue taking your photos. Let's also take a look at the phone lens and see what it's actually used for. Here's what happens when you try to take a close-up image of the lashes without the phone lens. So if you are looking to get those close-up detail shots of your lashes, here's the perfect way to do that. So first, attach your phone lens. Make sure you're getting quite close up to your client's eye when you're using the phone lens. On your phone screen, you'll be able to see what a big difference the phone lens actually makes. Once you're happy with all the photos that you've taken, it's time for the retouching stage. This is so important, even if you think you're happy with the pictures and they look perfect straight off the phone, they'll always need some extra work. To start you off, we've rounded up some of the best retouching apps that you can use. So, 
The first app we've lined up for you is called Airbrush. This app will allow you to smooth the client's skin using the smooth tool. So this means you can just brush over the skin and it will blur it slightly to make it look a bit smoother and cleaner. And you can also view a before and after so you can check your progress throughout the retouching stage. Another handy tool is the acne brush. You can change the size of this brush and then it will allow you to remove any marks or spots that might be on your client's skin that you really don't want to show in the photo. Another handy feature to this app is the brightening tool. This means that you can soften any harsh or dark shadows that are underneath your client's eye. And also you can use the whiten tool to just brighten the white bits of your client's eye so it looks cleaner. Another app that's really handy to use is VSCO. This app's really great for doing overall changes to your images. So you can change your brightness settings. You can also edit the contrast, which will make the black stand out in your pictures a bit more. You can also crop your image in here. And then there's an option to skew. So this means you can place the eye at an angle that you're most happy with. You can also change the sharpness of the image but I wouldn't go too overboard with this as it can look really fake. And another good feature that you can do, you can change the colour temperature within the image. So if your image is a bit too warm, you can just adjust the temperature settings and make it slightly cooler. Another amazing app that we thought was worth a mention was Facetune 2. Sadly, this isn't free, but it's worth the investment. This app is definitely worth the money. You can really go in and retouch the skin using the cleanse tool, which makes your pictures look really professional. You can also use the conceal tool, which will allow you to remove any spots or marks on the face that you don't want to be seen in the photo. Then, if you scroll through, you'll also see a tool called whiten. This is a really nice tool to use for your client's eye. It just brightens up the white part of the eyeball so that it looks clean and it makes the eye really stand out. If you scroll through again, you will see a tool called Details. This is great for making the iris part of the eye really stand out, but make sure to not have the percentage set too high, otherwise it will appear overly edited and quite fake. In Facetune 2, you can also do basic image adjustments such as brightness, contrast, sharpen, and also colour. So really, this app is so useful to have. It includes so many useful features just in one place. So hopefully, all these steps will be a massive help to you creating an amazing body of work for your Instagram account. So just remember, it's all about training your eye. Make sure that you're practicing frequently and also looking at what other lash techs are doing and how they're making their pictures amazing. Don't forget to have a bit of fun while you're taking these pictures of your client's lashes. You should be proud and excited to showcase your work.